Okay, I've already drawn my eye out and I'm using um, canvas paper for this and I'm using uh, these synthetic brushes. And I've already got all my um, water I mean my water soluble oil paint um, mixed up. So I'm going to start by painting the white of the eye um, sort of like a gray, a grayish color. Kind of a grayish, um, sort of a grayish blue, I would say. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit darker, so. My grayish tone, I'm going to do the entire white uh, part of the eye. Trying to cover it all. And like I said, I'm doing this little this quick study on um, canvas paper and it's already been the canvas paper is already just sewed and prepared and ready so all I do is uh, I cut a sheet out and I really like it because I can do these uh, these quick practice sessions on these uh, papers canvas paper it's easy to store so you can have it as a reference to look back at it and, you don't have a stack of um, a thick stack of canvas boards or or stretched canvas it's just this paper that you can easily put in a folder and and have all your studies stored for if you need a quick reference to figure out how to paint stuff and then I'm going to do the um, I'm gonna outline the the iris of the eye. I'm going to outline this in, it's almost a black color. Outline it as dark as I can. It's close to as black as I can get using a brown, blue, and purple mixed in together. You don't want to use straight black unless you have to. I don't think it's a good idea to to use too much straight black in your paintings because that's a very strong color. Usually when I use black, I just, or a dark color, I just mix in several dark colors to a very dark tone. And then I'm gonna go ahead and outline the eye. Do the, uh, the outline all the way around also in the dark color here which is almost a black on camera you can't really tell it, it it looks black but really it's like a dark purple bluish purple <laughs> when you mix in these colors that's what you get you got to be very careful when you're doing your blending also make sure that you're you wipe out you wipe off the excess paint because that's how you get these muddy your muddy colors muddy blending if you if you don't wipe off the excess paint that you're blend, already blending in and you'll see that in a minute okay I'm outlining the entire eye I'm trying to go as fast as I can for this demonstration, but you can take your time. You don't have to quite do it as fast. And also when I work this fast, my my hands do get a little bit tired. Um, that can happen to anybody. Your, hand, your hands, your fingers can get tired. If that happens to you, just, um, just stop for a minute and you can rest up, you know till your hands aren't so tired. Because the uh, work that you do on the eye is gonna be very detailed and very delicate work. Um, the eye is just gonna have that. So that's gonna require a lot of concentration, a lot of uh, 
skill and technique and it can be a little bit tiring on your on your hands when you're doing the background or the larger portions of the of your painting you're basically just letting your hands be a lot more freer a lot more movement is involved in that one but when doing the eyes since the eyes are you know the are very small compared to the rest of the painting it does take a lot of concentration and skill to get them done and then I'm going to blend in this top part right here where there will be a shadow. A shadow is cast on the top part of the eye from the, from the eyelids and from the lashes. We'll cast a shadow up here. So I'm blending that in. And I'm just blending this uh, outline into it. I'm wiping off the excess paint with this um, paper towel here. Don't know if you can see it. Off my brush, and then um, I'm going to add a little, whiten up the dark, the white part of the eye, lighten it up a little bit. I'm just going to do very little here, and I'll keep uh, lightening up this area as I'm as I go along. But. I do it a little bit at a time, don't wanna do it real abruptly, so I'm just do. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to um, represent the roundness of the eyeball by doing this. But I'm ready to add in the color and for uh, the color of the, of the iris, but up here, it's also in shadow being cast by the eyelid and the eyelashes, so I'm darkening this area here, that part of the iris, and now I'm going to add the main color, which is going to be a bluish, sort of a bluish gray, bluish green color that I want to get in there. Okay, there we go. Adding the bluish color in here. Now on the here, I, I'm blended in up here in this shadow area, but the outline of the iris, try not to blend that part in because you want that outline to show. That's gonna make your, that's going to make the eye look more, I guess realistic or more clearer, I think. So I don't uh, blend that line away, try to make it, Try to keep it as best you can. But you do blend in the blue into the shadow part. Okay, and then we're gonna add a little bit of white to the center of the iris. And what this does is it makes the iris look more Transparent, makes it look more clear. And then you can do some like lines. You can uh, blend it out like that with these little lines. Like in these little strokes, I should say. Okay, let's see. And we'll add another color in there because the Iris, people's irises, um, colored eyes, uh, even brown eyes have different specks of of color in there. So that's what we're gonna do here. Just add, just a touch, like a little, little bit of yellow. Okay, now I'm ready to do the lower lid, and I'm doing that in um, grayish color, sort of. And since this is a, a dramatic female eye, we're gonna add more, more of the liner right here to make it a bit more dramatic. I'm gonna thicken it. I'm thickening in, thickening in the 
the liner, making thickening in it up is what I'm doing. Then this will make the eye, her, the female eye look more dramatic. And also we are gonna add this little, on the top part of the eye too, we're gonna do a thicker line and flare out the corners a little bit. And just like this. And we're gonna go all the way around if we can. All the way. Basically, we're doing the entire outline of the eye in this, like this. Since her look is very, is very dramatic for this eye. And then, wipe off the excess paint from your brush using the little paper towel over here. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Uh, I apologize for the shake. And we're gonna add some white, just a little bit of white to blend in, blend out. We're blending it out. Right here, blending out her eye. This will give it that dramatic look with a little touch of white. The white's very, a very strong color, so it can be overpowering. It can over, overpower the other colors. It can make them look muddy or... So be very careful when you're using the, the white paint. You want to do this. Use as little as you can at a time. Lighten, in, lighten, lighten up the area a little bit at a time with your white that works best instead of trying to do it all all at once there we go the dramatic eye and then i'm still doing some more white white in here this is all the the eyeshadow i guess bit more on the over here in the corner flare it out a little bit more okay blend it in a little bit more closer here blending in and then we're blending it out over here and do a little bit on the top here Okay, now I'm ready to do the the pupil, and the pupil's gonna be as dark as you can get it, as you can get your paint. So I'm mixing in all of these colors here to get like a almost a black color for the pupil, and try to do it as perfectly round as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but. Just do your best and put it directly in the center. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna lighten up the the white of the eye, which is pretty dark in this case, but I'm gonna lighten it up a bit more. So I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, titanium white. And as close to the edge of the iris as you can get it. And there we go, lightening it up. And I'm going to lighten up a, just a little bit right here in the in the iris of the eye try to get that just a little bit and very careful because you can really uh, make the paint get muddied here if you don't um,
practice wiping the excess paint from your brush. So always remember that when you're when you're doing that right here. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Really, you sh the thing is to do this before you add the the black pupil because you can ruin the you can ruin this right here because you've already got the black pupil there. But I'm doing very little, so but that's what I recommend. And then I'm going to do. I think I'm ready to put the eyelashes on here. And for the eyelashes, I'm going to use my flat brush. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, the only flat brush I have available at the moment is this very tiny one, which it might work. So we're gonna do the bottom lashes first, very, very lightly. You wanna put them at an, um, put them in at, paint them in at an angle. And then you're gonna go back this way. At an angle like that, and then another angle like that. Very lightly. And then the top lashes, you're just going to do these at an angle like this. Very quickly. And you don't want to, you don't want to like do a whole bunch unless that's the look that you're going for. But basically just a few, just a few will, should do the trick. Now, it looks like we are almost ready to put the complete white part, but let me light up, lighten up, once again, lighten up the white part of the eye just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit we're doing here, very lightly. So I'm using very little paint. I mean, very little. Here, and we're almost finished. A little bit over here. Just to try to imply the roundness of the eyeball. That's basically what we're doing. And now I'm going to put the absolute uh, bright part of the eye or the sparkle of the eye. So, and for that, I'm using pure, pure titanium white. I'm going to put it on right above the pupil, or right in the upper part of the pupil, I should say. Just like this. And do a little bit larger. And also you can put like highlights on this side or that side if you want to. It, that's if you want to. And you can put some right here on the tear duct. A little highlight right there. And basically that's all there is to it. So there you have it. The dramatic female eye done in water soluble oil. And if you need help drawing the female face, I also did this book right here. And it's called The Lost Art, How to Draw Fantasy Female Faces, Volume 2. And it's available on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.